mysteries and controversies surrounding the Amityville story begin with the horrific events that took place on the night of November 13th, 1974, when six members of the DeFeo family, mother, father, and four children, were shot to death inside this house. New York TV station Channel 5 were determined to get the scoop. I got in touch with George Lutz and said, your family needs help, because they, they were clearly terrified. When the Lutz family claimed that their home in Amityville was possessed, a local TV station assembled a team of psychics and arranged to film their investigation of the house. They got parapsychologists, they brought in some other psychics, and it was arranged to go in there on the night of March 6th, 1976. Soon after the Channel 5 news team and their reporter Marvin Scott arrived at the house, people began behaving unusually. Nothing happened to me, but things were happening to people around me. The way people were affected was just crazy. First thing that happened, our cameraman, Steve, got to the landing on the second floor, and all of a sudden he bent over, clutching his chest. He had stabbing chest pains. The overwhelming impression was very sad. I had the impression of a teenager who had done something that had changed his life entirely, and he had committed a, something horrendous. When we went up to the second floor, of course, the psychics could feel the remnants or the bad vibes. Six people had been murdered violently there, you know, not two years before. Again, as a reporter, I have to tell you, I did not see anything, I did not feel anything other than the reaction of Ed, Lorraine, the other psychics, and the other people around me. At two in the morning, I remember Marvin Scott turning to me and saying, we don't have it. In other words, this was not the exorcist for television. Although nothing happened for the TV cameras, one photograph taken that night would later apparently reveal a mysterious presence. The camera was set up in a tripod and it just automatically shot off a flash photograph every few moments. And there were rolls and rolls of film of this particular doorway. It was into our daughter's Missy's room. The photographs were being cataloged by a secretary I had years later in California. And she was pregnant. And every time she picked up this one particular picture, the baby inside her jumped. And lo and behold, on the second floor in the doorway of one room, there is the distinct figure of a little boy peering out from the doorway. There were no children in the house that night. So it's like, OK, where did this come from? And we called Missy and asked her, who was this? And she said, oh, that's the boy I used to play with there. First we had heard of that. 